Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you how to set up your APA formatting in the latest version, which is version 7. I am recording this uh, December of 2023. And so if you are familiar with APA, um, they have made some changes uh, with version 7, so please pay attention. I, I've got this all, all this information cross-referenced from several different places. Okay, so again, first of all, your teacher will say, hey, you're going to write this in APA formatting. So this is a student version of the paper. This is not a professional way of doing the paper. This is a student version. This is just if you're writing this for a class, because if there is a different way to do it for a uh, professional setting. So let's get that out of the way. We're also using the Microsoft Word application. We're not using the online version of Microsoft Word. We're not using Google Docs. This is the application that we're using. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and set up the paper. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Layout, and we're going to click on Margins, and make sure that the margins are one inch on every single way. Very good. Okay, and then we're, now we're going to go back to the Home, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up, everything should be double-spaced, so we're going to go to the Paragraph section here and click on that, and we want to make sure that the line spacing is double. Now again, because we're using the Microsoft Word um, application, it has this little feature right here where it's defaulted. Uh, you need to click that button because if you, you do not want to add spaces between paragraphs because if you don't click that button, then you'll have extra gaps between your paragraphs and that's bad because everything should be double spaced. Okay, so then we're going to hit OK. Um, now, which font should we use? Well, um, Actually, APA folks said, well, you can actually choose between a bunch. And actually, I just copied this directly from the uh, from a, a very reliable source. These are the fonts that you can use for APA formatting. OK, uh, personally, I prefer 12 uh, point Times New Roman. That seems to be the most common, but you can use these other ones. Again, check with your uh, professor or instructor uh, if they have a preference. But according to APA, you can use any of these okay so I'm gonna go with Times New Roman size 12 okay so how to do that is go up here to the font change that to Times New Roman so if it's not recently used then you have to just scroll down and find it but I've, I've used it recently and change that to 12 okay so now I've kind of got uh, my stuff kind of set up. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put in my header. Now the header is where the page number goes and to get to the header you double left click at the top of the page here. Boom boom. When I, I just double left clicked and it opened up and it says header. Okay and for um, student papers um, all you're going to do is the page number. That's it. So you go to page number top of the page and it's the one that goes all the way to the right. Okay, it's not anything kind of, nothing fancy here, just something to the right. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that this font of this uh, number here is the same. So whatever font you choose, make sure you're consistent across the board. I chose uh, uh, Times New Roman Size 12, so I'm going to highlight this and it's going to show me, oh wait, that's not Times New Roman New 12, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that right here and make sure that it is the correct one okay so sometimes it does that where the header just defaults to a different one so make sure that this is consistent okay now to get out of the header we double click out we now double click down here or we can just hit this um, boom boom and now we're out of the header oh sorry one more thing we should show about the header make sure that you do not have this button uh, different first page checked or different odds and even pages no uh, make sure those are blank or are un unchecked or if not you're going to have a problem when you kind of keep going on with your paper okay let's get out of that okay so there is our page number again you notice that we didn't put any other information there's no name there's no nothing up here no nothing oh goodness okay uh that's just the way it is okay again i didn't create this okay now the next thing we're going to do is put in the title but so the title is we um hit the enter bar go down four times one two three four and then i want to center this okay and again if you're used to the old apa this may seem different the title is actually in bold okay and any uncommon words are capitalized and really common words are not capitalized so for example this would be for matting a paper in apa 
style. So you notice how I capitalized formatting, paper, APA, and style, but I didn't capitalize A and N. So which are the common words? Uh, I would say like extremely common words. Is there a list of them somewhere? I, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but don't worry about it. But that's just kind of that. Okay, now we're going to turn off the bold. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the enter button twice. Once, twice. Next thing you're going to do is put in the name of the writer of the paper. So you're the student. So in this case, we're going to put Jason. And you, it does say that they recommend putting in your middle initial, um, if you have a, a middle name. And then, okay. So that's me. The next thing you're going to do is hit enter again. And then you're going to put in which uh, department's in. So department of... I don't know, let's call this psychology. Okay. And then you hit a comma, and then you put the name of the institute at which you're going to. So we're going to call this University of University. That's brought to you by the Department of Redundancy Department. Okay. Whatever the name of the university is. Okay. Then you hit enter again. And then you actually put in the course number and letters and numbers. So let's say psychology, let's say the, the course is um, psych, uh, let's call it, I don't know, 120. And then put a colon and whatever the name of the class is. So let's say this is intro, well, we can just go with intro uh, to psychology okay so you have that and next next you do the instructor's name and make sure you use their title sometimes they're doctors sometimes they're professors whatever their title is so in this case let's say the person is dr indiana uh, j actually h jones let's see if anyone actually gets that um Okay, and then you hit enter again. Now, according to APA, the date is the due date of the assignment, not necessarily the day that you wrote it, it's the due date. So let's say this is due on, I don't know, March 17th, 2024. Okay, now notice that it actually has the kind of American style, okay? I don't think it really matters, I mean, if you are, uh, you know, if you do if the, if you do the American style, then it's the month, the date, and then the year. You have to have the comma. Um, if it's this, where you go from the smallest amount of time to the largest amount of time, there would be no commas. So 17 March 2024. So outside of the U.S., this is kind of more common. Um, but the examples that I saw, because I'm in America, actually had it the other way around, which would be uh, March 17th. Okay, 2024. Okay, so now you've set up your first page. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go to the next part, which is where we're going to write, actually start writing the paper. So one little trick here is that you can, I'm just left clicking and holding down. I'm going to copy the um, uh, title here, and then I'm going to right click and hit copy. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you another cool trick. So after we finish putting in this information here, at the end of the date, I'm going to go to insert page break. And it's going to put it up here at the top of the page of the page two. Look, there's page two. Okay. And so I put in a page break. And then the first thing I'm going to do is then I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit uh, paste options. Uh, we want to keep it in the formatting that we had. So formatting the paper, because there's the title, right? So there's the title of the paper right there. And then there's the title of our paper, okay? And then I'm going to hit the enter button, go back to home, turn off the bold, make sure that we're left aligned. So make sure it's left aligned. And then you're going to um, hit, you're going to indent. So the first line of the paper is indented and so you know the, just if you just hit the tab button don't hit space over hit the tab button boom um, and then this is the first 
line of the first paragraph. Okay, and then you would just start writing your paper and wow, this is A plus paper right here. And you can see how, as I'm just going, it's just having a good old time. All right, and then uh, period. Okay, now when I go to my next paragraph, I just hit enter, boom. Okay, now sometimes it'll automatically indent. Um, sometimes it won't, kind of depending on how you set up your paper. Um, if, if it does, um, then you can actually just hit the tab button again and it'll go ahead and just move it over. Okay, and then this is the oops, first line of the second paragraph. And then we can type more of our wonderful paper as we're going along here. And make sure that if you are uh, taking any of this information from another place, cite! So you don't get busted for plagiarism and don't use artificial intelligence to write your papers for you because you're supposed to be learning. Okay, so you're writing your paper. Okay, so that's it. Now, this is, also, this is how it's supposed to look, okay? And then one last thing, just to kind of for giggles, is um, just to reinforce a concept here. So I'm going to highlight this, this part of the thing. And if we go back to the paragraph part right here, if I, haven't, if I didn't have this uh, box checked, Okay, then you can see it actually added a space here between here and here, and that's bad because we want to make sure that everything should be double spaced across the board. And to fix it, all you have to do is just highlight whatever the whole thing is and then click on that box and then hit OK. OK, now also you'll notice that on the second page that there is nothing in the header aside from just the page number. And again, this is for student papers. Okay, so there you go. That is the walkthrough of how to set up the first page for an APA style paper um, and the information that's supposed to be there. And then this is kind of how it should look once you get going on into the paper itself. All right, thank you so much.